Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one today. I'm the Metal Junkie, and today I'm continuing my journey through Born Again album by Black Sabbath. We reached track number three, Disturbing the Priest. I'll be doing three tracks today. Disturbing the Priest, The Dark, and Zero, The Hero. The Dark's only a short one, so... Yeah, we'll check out these three songs. Never heard them before. I got a whole Black Sabbath playlist if you guys are interested, and let's go. <laughs> What the hell is going on? <laughs> it felt like so much at me at once. I got to go back. cool bass section here a lot going on uh the first main riff was so damn evil i don't know if those were natural harmonic pitches they were doing on the guitar there but it doesn't even sound like tony iomi on the guitars the things he's coming up with this album in this album it's just very different sounding almost like extraterrestrial a little bit just out of this world very different but it's unique it's original I i'm still digging it but yeah, there's a lot going on. You got some crazy screaming from Ian Gillen, which is great. Um, I like, like I said, I like this bass part. Some, it's quite the song. Geezer Butler's definitely bringing the groovy bass, and Tony's bringing the evil friggin' guitars. Uh, odd song structure, too, eh? It's not your typical song. It's definitely taking me on a ride. Side, side. The devil in a priest can't exist if one goes away. It's just like a battle of the sun and the moon in night and day. For 
I love that Ian just giving it his all, you know. I think this is his one and only Black Sabbath album too. And you hear the screams coming from him. He sounds so evil. His evil laughs. I like his rhyme patterns, the way he holds notes, everything he's doing in here. But you can tell he's giving it all, you know. I, that just adds more to it. Uh, I like how they bookended the track with that evil riff again from the start. Uh, Bill Ward is almost unrecognizable on this track ever. Eh? So far on this album, there he has his moments where he sounds like him, but for the most part, he sounds just like a typical '80s drummer, like Tommy Lee or something, which is kind of unfortunate for you know Bill Ward's like one of the greatest of all time. But yeah, fun track, very different from the band, and it's interesting. That's what's unique about these Black Sabbath albums. You'll never get one that sounds the same. Uh, I, I can't wait to continue. Let's move on to The Dark, which seems to be kind of an intro to Zero the Hero. So let's check those out. zero the hero trying to sneak in um yeah not much of a track a filler track we'll move right on uh it sounded creepy though i'll give it that zero the hero let's go but the tone is so thick the distortion is deep um and it doesn't help that this album doesn't have the best production to begin with so yeah but it sounds cool i i admit that Oh! 
Good thing that groove's infectious and catchy because they do it a lot, but I'm into it for now. right in with the vocals again eh? after that solo tony iomi the tiger man he is great like it just sounded like he was just having such a blast like almost like having a jam session there he probably could have gone on forever uh, that's the only thing the song's probably a little bit too long for its material but it's still a really fun one really groovy heavy and groovy and has a catchy chorus so and cool solo sections so let's wrap this one up
Yeah, like I said earlier, probably just a little bit too long. Probably could have trimmed a minute and a half off that or so. The groove is so consistent throughout that it was actually hurting my neck headbanging to it because it was just the same for a long time. Oh, it hurt, but it was good. It was worth it. <laughs> Two pretty damn fun songs, Zero the Hero and Disturbing the Priest. Uh, first one was more evil. This one was more groovy. They both had their moments. Like I said, aside from this one being a bit too long, uh, they were both pretty damn good. So I'm having fun with Born Again. Definitely not top tier Sabbath for me, but still a fun record. I mean, you're not going to compare this to like Sabbath Bloody Sabbath or anything, but it is still very fun and easy to listen to. Um, so I'm excited to continue. I will come back to this album uh, over the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. Until next time, thanks for watching.